Hi guys and welcome to Tech Based. In this video, we're gonna talk about the latest Windows 11 Insider preview build for the Beta Channel, which is the build 22006-1.1465. This week, Microsoft announced that we won't have any new Canary or Dev Channel builds, but instead we get a new Beta Channel build. So this is better than nothing, I guess. And also, if you want to learn more about how the Beta Channel system works with the two different builds that you can receive on this channel, you can check out the article below in the video's description for a full explanation. First of all. In this build, Microsoft is introducing live captions in more languages, and this will provide captions in Chinese, simplified in traditional French, German, Italian, Japanese, Portuguese, Spanish, and other English dialects. I think this is really useful for people who need live captions, of course. Also, Microsoft is replacing the show the touch keyboard when there's no keyboard attached option inside time and language typing and touch keyboard and settings with a new drop down. I think this is slowly rolling out because on this machine I didn't receive that, and basically Basically, that drop down will show never when no keyboard attached or always. And I think this is pretty useful because you have other situations to cover as well. Also, Microsoft is adding the cloud suggestion in Simplified Chinese IME. And if you're interested in that and want to learn more about that, you're going to have more info in the article below in the video's description. Microsoft is also adding the multi app kiosk mode, which is a lockdown feature for Windows 11 that allows an IT administrator to select a set of allowable apps to run on the device while all other functionalities are blocked. Yet again, more info about this and in-depth explanations from Microsoft in the article below in the video's description. Also, Microsoft is adding the glanceable VPN status into the system tray when connected to a recognized VPN profile. The VPN icon, a small shield, will be overlaid into your system accent color over the active network connection. You're gonna have a screenshot of that and maybe I'll make a different video or I'll just link a video that I've done a few months ago in which I showed you how to enable this feature when it was at a preview stage. Regarding the voice access app, the redesigned in-app help page in voice access introduced with Bell 22624.1391 now includes all commands and the supplementary information accurately. And in this bill, we also have two fixes. Basically, this update implements phase three of distributed component object model hardening. And after you install this update, you cannot turn off the changes using the registry key. And also this update addresses an issue that affects a computer account and active directory. When you reuse an existing computer account to join an active directory a domain, joining fails, this occurs on devices that have installed Windows updates dated October 11, 2022 or later. The error message is error 0xac 2732 nerr account reuse blocked by policy, an account with the same name exists in an active directory. Reusing the account was blocked by security policy. For more information, of course, you're going to be able to check out the article below in the video's description. And also another good thing about this build is that we only have some known issues related to live captions, so this build should be pretty reliable and stable, and if you install it, you should not have any major issues with it. As I've said, if you want to learn more about the new features and the new changes and improvements applied in this build, you can check out the article below in the video's description. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the tech base channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. I was Emmanuel from TechBase. Until next time, have a nice day.